and a program that probably is um, one of our favourites, I dare to say, Strictly. So you were yes. one of the contestants and you came third, I think, I did didn't come you? third, yes. I looked up all your fellow contestants that year and you had quite a good bunch. Remember John Sargent? <laughs> Um, who could not, and Andrew Castle, because yes. he was a speaker at a QEF He's event. He's lovely. And, and uh, so that was interesting to read that. that tell us, everybody oh, says yeah. it was fun. It was fun, but it was, it was fun. It was, I get really nervous every week. You know when they go, well, Brendan Cole and his dance partner, and Lisa Snow, please take to the dance floor. My heart would stop, and my mind would go completely blank. And I, I'd say to Brendan, I've forgotten, I've forgotten, I've forgotten, I don't know, and he said, just, just breathe, just breathe, and then I'd get to my position, and the music would start, and somehow, it came back to me, but every week, without doubt, that would always happen, and my mind would just go completely blank, and it was the most terrifying thing, because you just, you've worked all week to learn this routine, and then you're like, oh, um, but it was, it was scary, but it was one of the best things I've ever done in my life, I think dancing just makes you feel fantastic, I haven't kept it up hardly at all. And I really, I pledged to myself that I would because, you know, even a little salsa, a little salsa with your partner in a little class, it, um, it's just fantastic. It makes you feel fabulous. But Brendan, oh my gosh. Yes, who, sure. Come on, tell us about it. Who, who was a fan of Mr. Brendan Cole? The bad boy of ballroom. So they put me with Brendan. And I was like, <laughs> so he is the most phenomenal teacher. I mean, he's so good, but he's a hard taskmaster. And, I mean, thankfully, he pushed me and I got to the final because without him and his choreography, you know, it would, never would have happened. But I think because he had faith in me, that's why he was a little mean sometimes. Because some days I just couldn't pick it up. I was like, my left foot was my right foot and I was going the wrong way. And sometimes you just can't store the information. This is a lady who got the first three perfect scores ever. <laughs> so she did <laughs> jump it well. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, but you have to work very hard. Yeah, you really do. Is every hour of the every, day. You, you, you put as much, you get as much out as you put in. And so, yes, I wanted to do well. I wanted every Saturday, you know, to nail the dance. And, and, and each week I wanted to go for the fitting because the dresses were so brilliant and the music. And it was just so exciting. It became quite addictive. Um, but yeah, the dances were fantastic and Brendan was tricky, but. We're still friends now. Oh, He's a lovely, lovely man. <laughs> and a happily a married wonderful. father of two. And yeah. a great teacher and a great dancer. Wonderful costumes. Costumes were fantastic. My favourite ever costume was the Viennese waltz dress. And it was a black and white dress. And I had long gloves. And it was like a, it was like an evening dress. It was like a proper black tie evening dress. And it was absolutely beautiful. And a Viennese waltz is where you just keep turning and turning and turning around the room. And when I was learning the dance, and you've got to try to like spot each time so you don't get dizzy. That was one of my favourite dances. Um, as well as the cha-cha, which I danced to Amy Winehouse. And then I did the foxtrot too, which I loved. That was so That was in the final. That was in the final. I did the cha-cha and the foxtrot in the final. Yeah, they were my two best dances. And so you bring your best dances back to the final. So that was brilliant. And I just wanted each week just to get to the next week so I could, what was my music? Because they choose the music for you, you see. So I was like, what's the music? What are we doing? Well, what am I wearing? Because the, that's what I wanted to tell you. The first meeting with the costume designer, you go through all of your potential costumes. So you know, oh, if I get to that week, I get to wear that. And so you've got that in the back of your mind. So that was the carrot that was dangled. I've got to get, got to, get to wear that dress. And it's, a, it's an awful question, this, but were you terribly disappointed not to wear I was very, very grateful that I got to the final. I never thought I'd be able to do that. And it's such a whirlwind that the final for me was just, that's where I needed to get to. And honestly, where would I put that glitter ball anyway? <laughs> I mean, it would just be collecting dust somewhere with me on the mantelpiece, so no, I'm fine. Or it'd be in the loft, so no. I just felt like it was a big achievement to get to the final. Absolutely, well done. And 